Hello everyone, today we're taking a look at two mini sized compressor pedals the Wampler Ego Mini Compressor and the Zotic SP Compressor. Now it's going to be difficult to compare these two pedals head to head, so I'm going to set them relatively the same in terms of the sustain, blend and volume. So I'm going to leave the sustain somewhere in the middle for both the Ego and the SP Comp. So what I'm trying to achieve is to able to provide you with the difference in tone that both these compressors provide. So I won't be fooling around too much with the sustain and the amount of compression since the SPCOM only has a toggle switch to adjust the amount of sustain that you want. What I will be adjusting is the toggle switch on the OnePlay Ego Mini and the dip switches in the SP compressor. So when I engage the tone toggle switch on the OnePlay is going to add more highs, I'm going to do the same with the SPCOM by flicking down the internal dip switch to provide more highs to my tone. And then again when I flick the attack toggle switch on the OnePlay Ego Mini, I'm going to flick the first and second dip switch down on the SPCon to provide more attack and release. I'll be using a Fender Strat and an Epiphone Les Paul into the Vox AC30C head. So let's give these two pedals a quick listen.
So there you go, there's a rapid comparison between the two pedals. Personally, I really like the Wampler Ego Mini because it's slightly more transparent. But some of you might prefer the kind of colour that the SP provides to your overall rig. So let me know down in the comments which you prefer or if I missed any sort of comparison between these two pedals. Maybe you'd like to hear them in a specific setting between the two pedals. Either way, check out musicblues.com.my for prices. Give us a like if you enjoyed the video. Comment if you want to comment. Subscribe for more content and see you real soon.